Today we got a preview of Shadow Vault, the newest expansion for Kill Team Into the Dark. Like our other expansions for Kill Team, this kit should include everything you need to play, including two teams, a board, and the environment to play in, as well as a rulebook. This train will be more of the Gallow Dark, which is that Space Hulk from the first Into the Dark set. From my understanding, you can miss and match from the first set, so if you have both, you have a lot of options. So there is a pro and a con to looking similar in my opinion. The pro is that if you do combine them, you have one very coherent looking board, which is awesome. If you add half Necron and half Human, it just wouldn't make sense. But the negative to this is that it is the same and doesn't really stand out. Like if you have the first one, you might not care about buying this entire other set for another board that looks the exact same as the first one. As with everything visual, this is entirely personal preference and everyone's that have a different opinion on it. That's just my take. Now for the teams, which is what everybody really cares about. The first team is the Kassanen, which are basically the Special Forces Acadia. So it's an Imperial Guard team. So there should be 10 models. They have better armor, so likely a 3-up or 4-up save, which isn't bad for Imperial Guard. And they will default have hotshot last guns like the Tempestus Scions. So likely 4 attacks, 3 up to hit, and 3-4 damage. They will have a lot of build options. Some of them are kill team specific, like the Demolitions Esper, but you do have choices of stuff like Melt Duns and Plasma Duns and some other weapons. I think it said you can run 2 of each type of those specialty weapons, so that's a lot of firepower for kill team. In case you don't follow regular 40k news, today they announced they're relaunching the line of Imperial Guard, and they're using Cadia as kind of the base sculpts for that, which means this is a Kill Team and 40k simultaneous launch, which is really neat. I'd like to see them do more of that in the future, so when they do stuff like announce World Eaters and actually you can buy that, you can also buy the Kill Team at the same time, or that's what I'm hoping they do for squats as well. The final note for the new Imperial Guard team is that even though the sculpts are Cadian, you aren't limited to running them as Cadians. They said you can pick your fashion and you get specific bonuses based on that. I think this will work similar to how the chapter tactics did for the new Intercessor team, so you can look at that and have a pretty good idea how this will work here. The other half of this set will be Necrons, which this matchup makes a lot of sense lore-wise. The Necrons are out there treasure hunting and Imperium wants to keep them from getting whatever powerful technology or weapon they're looking for. So the Necron boss is kind of a mess of older sculpts, upgrade sprues, and new models. It looks like the big model will be the Cryptek, which that's a giant sculpt for Kill Team. That's the first thing I noticed when they were playing the preview video, is how big some of the Necrons were. I guess in the Space Hulk that isn't that big of a deal, but playing on a regular Kill Team board they'd be pretty hard to hide. So there are some of the smaller weaker models here, and then some stuff like Immortals that pack a lot of firepower. I'm guessing they might let you miss a match where you have slots to fill, and the bigger operatives take up more slots. I'm not entirely sure about that, that's totally a guess on my end, so I don't really know much about Necrons past what the original kill team had in them. So if you're a Necron expert and want to explain what these are down in the comments, I'll pin it to the top for everybody else to read, but I can't say a lot else on Necrons. The final thing I wanted to cover was we do have these two little robots. One will have a gun attachment and the other is used for breaching. We don't get much info on them, but they do look pretty neat, and they're a nice add-on if you do end up buying the set. Alright, that's everything Kill Team related from the announcements today. Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.